Greetings, listeners of the Latin Prayer Podcast. My name is Dylan Drago, and welcome back for another episode. You can probably tell from the tone of my voice that I am a little bit congested and stuffed up. Now, I did have an episode recorded last Monday, but it would seem that whether it's by divine intervention or just life in general, for whatever reason, Monday and Tuesday uh, just did not allow me to finish finally editing the episode and get it published. On Wednesday of last week, my uh, my my family life got turned upside down. I planned on sharing on the on the episode last week some happy news that my wife and I were expecting baby number five. However, on Wednesday we found out that when my wife went in for a midwife appointment and an ultrasound, that there was no cardiac activity, there was no heartbeat, and this has been confirmed by an ultrasound. So even though we were just shy of fourteen weeks we have miscarried baby number five. I ended up getting sick on that same day and couldn't get back in to record the episode because our family life has been in, well, as you can imagine, complete disarray. Probably the hardest part of the week last week was having to tell my kids. It was incredibly difficult, gut-wrenching, to watch your children come to terms with the loss of life, especially one that they were so happy for. My five-year-old, um, you know, just holding on to him while his body was just shaking with, with tears and adrenaline and shock uh, is something that I'll never forget. So I would ask all of you in your charity to please pray for my children, please pray for my wife, because we have some difficult decisions ahead of us medically, um, just that we can navigate those those decisions well. And please pray for, for me, and of course, for the repose of the soul of our unborn child. One of our very good friends shared with us a meditation from their rosary, the night, a um, couple of nights after we had found out and we were uh, chatting with them, and, and while reflecting on this meditation, they said something really beautiful that I want to share with you. I think it's a comfort to know that our Blessed Mother, with her perfect trust of God's will, still grieved her son. And in my own meditations this week, I was reminded of the shortest verse in all of Scripture is just two words. From the Gospel of St. John, chapter 11, verse 35, which reads, Jesus wept. And so though we grieve, we don't do it out of some fallen nature. We grieve because... We can take our example from our Blessed Lord and our Blessed Mother. It is perfectly human to grieve. Suffering is hard. Suffering means that you have loved deeply. And it's okay to love. And it's okay to suffer. Because that suffering can be redemptive. Our Lord showed that to us on the cross. We also take our cue from our Blessed Mother when she said, Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum, let it be done unto me according to thy word. And our Blessed Lord, when he taught us the Pater Noster, Fiat voluntas tua, thy will be done, not my will. Lord, help me submit to thy will. Submitting to the will of God. If God wills something, then we have to will what God wills, and and that's the only way that we can find peace, because it's only by the permissive will of God that our anguish or suffering or our pain can be transformative, can be redemptive. It is for our sanctification, even though we don't understand it. And we don't need to understand it, at least not in this life. So today, let us not waste the suffering, this great gift of suffering that God has given us. Let us do something with it. I'm sure there are many of you listening that have 
suffered the loss of a child. And although you know this suffering well, maybe you don't understand it. Maybe we don't need to understand it, but let's do something with it. Let's offer it for the salvation of souls. And so, I would ask you to join me in praying for all those who are suffering. Especially those who are suffering from the loss of a child. We pray for their healing. We pray for their consolation. And we also pray for their sanctification. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater nostre qui es in celis, sanctificeter nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et demite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos demitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicuderat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Requiem eternam dona eis Domine, et lux perpetua luce eis, Fidelia mani me per misericordiam dei, requiescant in pace. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. I do plan on posting the other episode, I just need to get around to amending it so I can remove the parts um, that I had recorded that um, don't need to be there anymore. And I will post the episode, hopefully sometime middle of this week, barring... You know, all things medically go well at home or at the hospital over the next couple of days. So if I don't get to it till Friday, uh, you'll just have to forgive me. So until then, may God bless all of you. May God reward you for your kindness and your generosity. And may Our Lady keep you close to her Immaculate Heart so that you might be united to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ.